Hey, good morning, good afternoon, hello, Damon. How are you, dude? What's happening, man? I'm doing great, Kurt. How are things today? My goodness gracious, I couldn't. If it was any better, you might have to call nine one one right now. Like it's just really, we really, don't want to go there. Man, I'm telling you, I just I don't know if my heart's going to take this episode today. It's it's a uh, we've uh, let's just you know what we're going to dive right in. Jump right. We've in. got man, we Damon. I don't. We have a repeat offender today. Mm -hmm. So we have one of our favorite guests of all time. We have Shri Mahabur. Shri, happy Monday. How are you today? I am doing amazing, and I feel so honored to be a somebody that's one of your favorite guests, you know, oh, well, man, <laughs> we just, how, there, how could, how could it not, you know, how could that not be? So, Hey, yep. happy Monday to everybody. Drop us a note. This is going to be a really lively discussion. If you are interested in you have live stream questions, you have video, uh, video visibility. We have the vis video visibility expert here. We're going to be diving in, covering a bunch of different topics. Shri, I don't know, you, you were on before, man, did we have a good time? We really, we dug in and we, 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 we got vulnerable. We talked about your background and we're going to, we're going to hit some of these things again. Now, last time I hit you with a question, if you happen to recall, and I asked you who your, your hero was growing up. Do you remember that? And, and you gave like one of the all-time best answers, Damon. She said, mom and dad. Yes. Dad is Ray. Mom, help me with mom's name. What's mom's first name? Mom's name is Padmaja. Dad's name is Ray. That's right. And so you mentioned those. You mentioned Martin Luther King. You mentioned Gandhi. Yeah. You And then you had, if I have this right, Mrs. Pritchett. Do I have that right? Yes, yeah, my fourth grade teacher. Wow, Mrs. you have a good memory. So you've met, it was like this huge, like all-star Hall of Fame lineup of folks that you rattled off that were your heroes growing up. So I have a little spin on the question today. I have a little spin on the question. So we asked you who were your hero, who was your hero? And you gave us a whole lineup, right? The question today is Shri. Are you ready? Are you sitting I'm down? Ready. You're Let's good? Do if who on this planet would Damon and I be speaking to? And we asked the question, who is your hero? And the answer would be you. Who are you the hero to? I am the hero to my daughter. So nice. although she will sit there and be like, no, you're not, mommy. Yeah. You know what is we as parents who have daughters or a son, we understand how, you know, in the, behind closed doors, we are their superheroes. But in public, it's a different story. Yeah. Right. That's right. They they won't admit it. But Shri, no what's your way. daughter's name? What's My daughter's, daughter's name is Savina. 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 Okay. Cool. Excellent. All right. So Savina is. Uh, so you are the hero to Savina. So that is a great answer. And how, Savina in school. Well, how, what's 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 her deal? What's she? What's going on with Savina? I hope she's in school. She's <laughs> in Lubbock at Texas Tech. She. <laughs> I hope she's there. Do yeah, nice. Work. Awesome. What yeah, year that's, is she? That's at? where you hope is all you can have. There. What year is she at, at, at Texas Tech? She is a third year and she is studying uh, management with a concentration in HR. And one of the things that she found very difficult was finding a job. And I kept telling her, like, hey, you have a really good network called LinkedIn. And there's this thing called posting and there's this thing like your mom. Okay, if you don't want to talk, have your mom help you, I can introduce you to a few people who can help you understand how to navigate, talk to people, especially I remember when I was working a nine to five, I had a few college students reach out to me and I actually talked to them. You know, I got to know them and anytime there was an opening, I would reach out to them. Even though like we had one coffee chat, I still remember it. I was like, hey, you know, think of, hey, check this out. You know, let me know if you need any help. And I told, I always think, put this in the forefront of my mom. I mean, my mind is like, if I do this for somebody, it will come back and it might come back to me. It might come back to my daughter. And so she was a little not listening. And so I ended up reaching out to my network and ended up hiring somebody to help me with her resume. They gave me really good tips to help her. She ended up, um, it took her a while, but she found a job on camp. Well, not on campus, but in the dorms on campus. 
But I will say if anybody is, you know, the story or the lessons from the story is LinkedIn is a great tool. And if you don't know how to create a post or you don't know where to start, it just just get in the to the messages like just be a normal person. Don't be like, hey, I saw you and I want to be your friend and I know that you can help me and I need a job or I can help you get to 100,000 followers in six weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, well, we've got a comment here. I just have to bring up from Dan. He's five minutes late today. Oh, Dan, gee, we like we we were, we were pan, you know what? Speaking of nine one one, I almost called nine one. I was going to yeah. call Julie to make sure Dan uh, Dan happy Monday. Thank you for joining us here today. And we guys, we're here with Shree. And so hey, let's pull up. Uh, Abu is here today. Abu, Abu. thank you for joining. Happy Monday. We've got Gavin, Gavin. here. It's going to be a fun hey, chat. Gavin. Video's been super powerful. It's gotten over my clients over oh. eighty million views. My goodness gracious, Diane yeah. Byer, Diane. My hey, sending you lots of love, my friend. We love it. We've yes, got our man. friend here. We've got MD from Bangladesh. We've yes. got uh, Sagir here. Exactly. I reached out to most of my clients through LinkedIn. You yeah. know, and what was great, uh, Damon, we had a guest on Friday. And so, and we're going to dig into this a little bit. She shared uh, very vulnerable. She was just laid off from her job three weeks ago. She's in Houston, right with right. Mm -hmm. You guys, as a matter of fact, you guys should connect. And oh, she's yeah. talking about how uh, while she was in college, she went all in on LinkedIn, 21, 22 years old. She's now 25 and how she's built up this wonderful biz, uh, this uh, amazing network on LinkedIn and how that, uh, by her losing her job, yeah. she created a side hustle. And so now it's really helped her transition. Shri, so let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, I want to go back here, guys, you know, connect with Shri on LinkedIn. Uh, she's, Oh my God, all sorts of great content. She's doing yep. lives, all sorts of wonderful things. Shree, last time I had you on the show, I just, for, folk, for folks that are uh, new to you, you had something happen a few days before Christmas, a few years back. Do you want to just kind of share like your entrepreneurial journey? And then we're going to dive into like video expertise here. Absolutely. So I actually started going live on Instagram and that's when I was interviewing entrepreneurs. I had started my first business, which is virtual assistant. And then in 2020, you know, this is 2019. I started the business in 2020 when the pandemic happened. I was like, how do I build visibility? How do I get in front of others? And how do I give a spotlight to entrepreneurs? That's why I started going live on Instagram. Fast forward to 2021. I was, you know, I hit my hundredth live on Instagram. And then I realized, you know what? There's more to this. And I want to, I don't like this first business. I'm not sure what to do. I hired a coach who helped me figure out, you know, get into video and helping people get on camera. Because if you already got 40 people out of the hundred to go live with you and they never did video or live streaming, then let's go ahead. And this is the business. So I started posting on LinkedIn starting in June. And then six months later, nine days before Christmas, I got laid off. And just like your, four, your previous guest, I built this uh, audience and network that it was easy for me to fall into this business. And that's what I did just have been doing for the last two years, but there have been pivots. There have been some moments of this is not what I want. I haven't, I realized your first year of being an entrepreneur, it's all about mindset. Mm -hmm. And then the second year is those limiting beliefs of like, yeah, you get through the mindset, but then it's like, what do you need to let go of? What are things that you're holding yeah. on to? I yep. should let go of a show that I had with a wonderful co-host, but just wasn't for us. And that was very difficult. But, you know, going back into what I do is I work now, I realized um, last year who I want to focus on working with. And that is dental, medical and law practices, helping them get leads so that they can hire the talent so that they can have more time to work in their business maybe even start a business and help them build that visibility, which can lead to, you know, being able to get um, awards, right. get in publications, speeches. And we do this using social media. We manage their social media, creating video content, going live podcasts. And sometimes we don't think that all of this is important, but as I keep reading and I keep seeing all of the reports, we're seeing how important social media is, it does play a role. People do want to know what 
is it that you do? Like whether you're in manufacturing, whether you're a mechanic, whether you are a restaurant, yeah. we want to see what do you have? What do you have to op offer? But at the same time, we want to also hear from you. What is your story? What is your experience? How can I connect with you? Yeah, no, I absolutely yeah. love that. And, you know, and, and Damon, we were just saying this on Friday, like, you know, I think you and I say it frequently. What are we selling? Right. So one thing, trust. Yeah. Right. It doesn't and it doesn't matter if you're in a service business, product business, what you might be in. Mm -hmm. Hey, we've got some friends here that I want to pull up yeah. here. So yeah. we've got uh hey, Sagir says, uh, hey, can I ask some questions? Absolutely. Yeah, Boy, yeah. We have a video. bring them in. Sagir, we welcome your questions here. And yeah. speaking of questions, questions um, coming. I have uh hey Mike Franz from Min uh, Mike. Minneapolis is in the house. Mike, happy Monday nice. to you. And we've got Alan from Indianapolis. Alan, happy Monday, my friend. And you know what? And you know, we've got several entrepreneurs here in the crowd and you just dropped a, a note, you know, Sri, you were talking about like, hey, that first year mindset. I don't know, like Dan, Mike, any of you guys want to chime in the chat box, you know, talk, you know, let's get a conversation going about how important is that mindset uh, transitioning into entrepreneurship? Dan Bigger asked a question. What about manufacturing people in the glass industry? So any, they uh, any lunch. they have to bring me lunch and I will work <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love it. So, um, so Shri, let's let's start here. So, you know, late off Christmas time, you were already starting to build your brand. So, let's start here on your LinkedIn profile. Again, guys, connect with Shri on LinkedIn. She's just an just what a blessing. She's just a breath of fresh air. Video expert. You have a tagline. Uh, are you afraid to get on? If I, I'm so, don't quote me. Are you afraid to get in front of a camera? Five hundred and eighty-nine billion hours of video were watched last year. 589 yeah. billion. So for folks, clients that you're working with that are maybe a little bit camera shy or maybe a little bit resistant, what are, how are you helping these folks, Shree? So the first thing I'm like, I have a comment to hear from my friend. Her name is Janie. She's there in the yellow with the green yep. top and say hello to her. So one of the things that I always ask is what is it that you, what are your goals for your business when you think about using social media because really at the end of the day social media is an avenue to get to your goals it's not the end all be all like why are we here what are we doing and then once we understand that then it's okay what are common questions that people ask when they come into the office or what are things and it could be as simple as do you take my insurance or could it be that would you take my case or would it be that you know, what are the days that you're open? Like I found mm -hmm. that some some dental practices are not open on Fridays. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Like in one uh, one city in one state and it's in Idaho, if I'm not mistaken, like they are closed on Friday. Everybody's closed on Friday. And it's at and if you call, then you find out that one is, you know, they do appointments. But nobody knows that based on the content that's being posted. Yeah. And then we dive deeper into, and I love this. I love this when people say, well, we were posting for a year and it didn't work. Yeah. I wanted to know. Uh. I want to know who has, you know, was able to get $100,000 in six weeks. Please drop a heart in the comments right. because right. Right. I would love to meet you and make friends with you. Right. 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 It takes time. It, right? it. it, it takes it. <laughs> It takes time. And Dan Bigger says, hey, you know, the goal is to meet people and drive traffic. And that's the thing. I think, the, you know, the big thing is it's like, you know, there's going to be a silver bullet or like a magic potion that we're going to get business right away as opposed to like just really nurturing, building those relationships. Tree, I feel like you've done such an incredible job of nurturing, building those relationships, and you've really done it with your live stream. Talk a little bit. Uh, I want to dive into live streaming first. Okay. Talk a little bit about what has live streaming done for you personally? What's it done for your business, your brand, relationships that you've built? Let's go there first. What has live streaming done for you as uh, personally and professionally? When I think of live streaming, I think of live streaming as it changed my life. I really wasn't the type of person, if you met me four years ago, you would not have imagined that I would do something like this. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what I was doing. Guys, I used a hair tie and a snow globe and a jewelry box for my stand for my phone to go live because I didn't have anything. 
so many times you get the question, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. Yeah. I made whatever I had work. I was in my in my room and it's actually green. Like it was really an interesting experience. But this whole time, because I also have a background in sales and coaching sales teams that I used a lot of that. So it had to you have to build relationships. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they have to like they can like you. But if they don't trust you and they're not going to give you pay you with their time. That was like the first lesson I learned, because you're not you're not getting paid for this. Why should this guest come onto your show and give their time? Then the next thing that I learned was I really had to build processes because I didn't really have a process. And I realized later how much a process is so important from just like the moment that somebody gets into the whole booking to be on your show in you asking simple questions what should you know what are you going to be promoting sometimes if you're like me i'm i'm actually booking out until august sometimes people don't know what they have but it's always like okay you know this is an opportunity for me to be on this show and this is what we're going to talk about but also you can set up those reminder emails that go out because once it's set up that's doing it for you and then the third thing that really helped me is because I was always afraid to be on, on camera. I stubber, I mean, I, I do mess up on my words like I am right now. I get nervous. I don't like the way I look. I don't like, you know, the grays come out to play. I have cried on live. I'm worried that people are going to look at the live and be like, oh, my gosh, I don't know if this is. I used to always be afraid, like if I shared my where I'm struggling, nobody wants to work with me. But I've also learned that those people are not my people, like the ones who really want to work with me will stick around. And so yep. that has helped, too, because I have shared about when my daughter went off to college that first month in August of 2021, I was crying all the time. And then. As my father got ill in September of last year because of COVID, I gave it to him. It helped me see things differently. I had a community. I mean, let's even rewind back. I lost my job and I had a community of support. And even now, like I put a post recently because I was talking about my dad who has dementia. I have people reaching out and saying, I, ex I know how you what you're going through. I mean, it's just our parents, we love them. They're our superheroes, like the mm -hmm. question that you asked yeah. earlier. But at the same time, we don't want to see them like that. We've been seeing them be this strong, amazing person. And now we are the ones having to clean them up, having to do everything yeah. for them and then making a hard decision. We got to do what's best for them. And sometimes it's hard to talk about, but I find that even though I help medical dental law practices and Dan, if you want to work with me with the free lunch <laughs> and some other things, we, I actually don't mind. Like one of my current clients right now, she does, um, she talks about psychological safety and in the workplace and bringing that up. And so I, I learned from everybody else. But I also learn from my own experiences. And the more that I'm able to share about who I am, how I got through a problem, the more people will want to see, will see like, hey, this is a possibility. Although sometimes it's very difficult. <laughs> I'm going to say that it's very worth it. Well, I love that. Hey, how about, uh, Shree, we'll grab a couple of comments. So your friend Janine here says, yes, it's definitely life changing. More business owners must go live in 2024. Man. Janine, we need to have you on the show. There you go. Yes, you, you go. should. You really do. She know. Like, let me tell you, when I say she's an OG, she's an OG. She started going live in 2018, if I'm not mistaken, with an older software. So she knows about live streaming a lot longer than me. She's a pioneer. And so, hey, what else do we have here? Hey, Diane says this. The beauty within you is simply stunning. Man, Diane, we couldn't agree more. Dan mm -hmm. says he's counting the days until his daughters leave for college. Dan, I, I, I oh, dude, you're gonna be a mess. So, uh, daughters yeah. of dads with dementia. So, hey, Diane, you guys uh, should connect, and uh, you guys could have a little chat. And I, I'm gonna grab a comment back here from Sagir. I know, like, 
trees being covered up. But other than LinkedIn, where should I deploy my sales team to get more clients? I'm currently working with 26 different clients and generating qualified leads. I want to expand my horizons and scale up my business and add more value. Shri, any thoughts, expertise for our friend Sajir on that? Sanjir, I would love to ask, when you think of your clients, how old are they? Like, where are they? Because, you know, it's real funny because they might be here on LinkedIn. They might be on Facebook. They might be on Instagram. They may be hanging out on TikTok. You really don't have to be everywhere. Like, we all oh, see Janice said 2015 that she's been. Ooh. And he's been there since a long time. We are just, you know. She knows, man. How about 2015? My goodness gracious, yeah, Janine, you are a pioneer. Real pioneer. Um, going back to the question, it is about where are they? You don't have to be everywhere, you just need to be where they are and understand that algorithm. Like, when I say algorithm, just understand what type of content would do well. For example, on TikTok, we're finding that longer. Videos over a minute are getting pushed more and they are being watched. Yes, it feels like they're getting dropped, but I will actually watch videos that are a lot longer. We are seeing the creative videos. We are seeing um, also when you think of TikTok, you think it's only like vertical, but they're also doing the horizontal videos. So you can see where, you know, how it does, it gets pushed because whenever they have a new feature, but I do see that um, more and more people are somewhere. You just have to figure out where. Facebook is growing in usership. You're seeing people jump on there. Many practices are on there, law, medical, dental. They mm-hmm. find that that's where their clients are. But I'm seeing that clients are just kind of everywhere. But your particular client, the one that you're targeting, could be on even Twitter or X. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They could be on YouTube. Not you know, YouTube is a long play. Like all of this is long play. I would even the old boots on the ground going to in-person networking events. What conferences? Yep. What yep. workshops can you go out there? When it's conferences, what conferences should you attend? And when it's a workshop, what places can you go and host a free workshop? Right. To get people to come in. What? Places can you partner with and say, hey, yep. if we do this training here, we'll allow your employees to come for free. But then you can have you can pr- promote and market that you have this event and draw people to your event. Yeah, I I absolutely love that. And at those events, Damon, what can you do at that event? You can live stream <laughs> at the event, right? Yes, so we've done it many so times. Let's, let's go and and. Catch me if I've, uh, let's see how Lee says, happy Monday, Lee, being comfortable with being uncomfortable is a key yep. to LinkedIn and a lot of other things in life. And uh, Dan Bigger says, short plays never work. Everything is a long play. Amen, brother. Let's go here, Shri and Damon, you please feel free to chime in. Let's talk about the benefits of live streaming. Okay. Like Damon, we've come up with, uh, I have 39 and a half, right? We're not sure yeah, about yeah. half, but we, we've come up with this little guide, 39 and a half benefits. Yep. Shree, you said it's changed your life. Janine said it changed her life. Let's, let's go there. So if there's a manufacturer out there, there's an entrepreneur, there's a business owner, a marketer and, and like Sajir, he's like, man, I'm doing all the things, but I haven't done this thing. Why should somebody like just go all in on live stream? What what's your what's your take on that question? So my take on that is how can I build a connection with the community that I'm building? And then on top of that, yeah. let me share what is it that I have that might be of something that helps the market, but you find out through the live streaming shows. I've seen companies do like they promote and say, hey, we're having this live stream and it's going to be from this time to this time. Bring your questions. And Mm -hmm. if you want, we can take you offline and have a call right then and there. So they're using live streaming shopping. We're seeing that on Amazon and other retailers that are doing that. But you want to think about this is why would you want to go live? Mm -hmm. You know, what is it that you want to show your your potential client or your current clients? And, you know, how could you use this content? Where is it going to be placed? Because, you know, you could be like me who took 
almost three and a half years to create the podcast. Or you could say, you know what, I'm going to take this, turn it into posts, take this, turn it into content that can be turned into a blog, that can be turned into a website video, because there's so much that can go on. Are you going to bring on former clients or current clients? Are you going to bring on, like, you have a guest? Why would your community, your ideal client, want to tune in? Yeah. I could agree. Yeah. Multiple drop the mics right there. Oh, yeah. 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 So many. What? Uh, let, let's unpack a couple of those. I want to dive into uh, repurposing. So number one, I, I personally think business development, live streaming is one of the most powerful, most efficient, most effective ways for business development. So for those of you in sales, marketing, you know, like there's a method behind like, Shri, when you're yep. bringing folks on, like you're being strategic. Damon, other live streamers that, you know, you do, uh, you know, you're live streaming four days a week, dude. Like what mm-hmm. are what are some of the benefits? How how has live streaming changed your life? Let's go here, Damon. How has it changed your life? Well, you talk about uh, two things really: um, cross promotion. I mean, we mm-hmm. we don't think about cross promotion enough, but we're all in communities, right? Either either in geographic. Sorry, my phone fell down. Um, the uh, we we you know either in geographic communities or industrial communities or whatever you know part of our industry part of our vertical part of the world whatever it is in these communities they you can build them through that you can share things with them that they're they're interested in the questions like you said um, Shri I think is is incredible mm-hmm. and you mentioned this earlier about answering your potential customers' questions. I mean, it is such a good reason to go live streaming with somebody, a, a, a past client or a client, current client that you talked about how, the process that you went through. You can questions that you had about it, anything like that. But but then sharing knowledge that you don't even know you've got. Because we, if you're a, if you're a business, you're a manufacturer like Dan, the glass manufacturing that. People don't know half the stuff that Dan knows uh, that he and his wife know about making those products and they don't understand the care, the thought, the the detail that goes into doing it. And people will appreciate things more if they really understand what goes into the products and services that come to them because they may be overlooking a very important value point to them. Mm -hmm. And it's just, but then again, I go back to community though, because Kurt, Mm -hmm. think about us prior to live streaming, how many people did we know to call if somebody, if we had a problem? I knew three, uh, my mom, yeah. my best friend, Chuck, and my best friend, Van. And, uh, that was, but, <laughs> so yeah, 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 I mean, tree, I mean, like, look at the, like, how has it expanded your network? So I want to cover two things. Let's talk about community. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's carry that while Damon's there. Then I want to come back to you. I felt dropped some golden nuggets there for the folks in the crowd on repurposing content let's talk about community janine the friends like charlene mutual friends that we have just talk about what it's done in collaboration for you relationships doors that it's open let's go there first so it has opened a lot of doors i have a rolodex of numbers of people in contact that i can communicate with at the same time it's one of those people want to connect with you because of who you know they want to be in that inner circle. I learned mm-hmm. that that lesson really hard last year, but I'm not upset. I think it's it was a power to show, you know what, this building these relationships takes time. I have some people who have been watching me for the last four years. Yeah. And when you think about community and I think about even my agency, it's filled with individuals who've known me for years, who've watched mm-hmm. my journey, especially my creative director. He is the co-partner in this. And he we met in 2020 in a li- on a live show. I have seen business deals come just within community, people who knew me or maybe knew the guest, and then they're collaborating in the D, you know. They're talking to each other in the comments. So if you don't know somebody in the comments, definitely make a friend, reach out. But next thing I know, I was looking at their Instagram stories or I'm looking at their LinkedIn posts and I'm like, oh, my gosh, these two people actually did business. I saw the comments, but I didn't, you know, I let things just go organically. And 
also for community, sometimes you don't realize for your guests, if you do it right, they get the recording, they can turn it into a podcast. That actually happened. One of my guests turned the episode into a podcast episode. So when I think about a guest, it's not about me. It's really about them and leveraging them, putting them out into the public. Because at the end of the day, Kurt, you might see the guests and be like, you know what? I want to bring them on. And I'm going to say that I saw them on Shree's show and I want them on our show. Mm -hmm. I would not know until I watch, you know, I just happened to come yeah, to the yeah. post. But it's one of those things when you think about community and building partnerships, it's the long. Again, everything is long. Okay. It's never going to be the short. And many of the uh, coaches that I've ever worked with, I interviewed them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know who they are or some of the referrals I've gotten are because they were on my show and they just liked the way I did things. So that's how I got business. Not always there were the guests, the, the client, it was always they referred and that's fine with me too. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I love that. Hey, let's grab a couple of comments here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hey, Damon, I know you feel the exact same way, right? Your ideal customer are bald guys in New York. Don't you feel that way? Shree? Huh? How about, is it, is it, you know, Let's see. Just I agree. Like the ball guys in New York is, all the time. Is it just my mom that feels that way? So, okay. Janine, yeah. uh, it's a short game. And Dan, I think you had another comment here. I wanted to grab. So Damon, yeah, I need a podcast. Yes. I, I don't know. We're, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty biased, but I, I, yeah. it's hard right now, you know, like Damon, I'm, you know, like I'm a solopreneur tree. You're a yeah. solopreneur, right? I think this is one of the most powerful, most effective ways for business development, creating content, so on and so forth. So it's, you know, when I work with companies or manufacturers that have a full team, it's hard, like, man, anybody could do it. If I could do this, I'm, I'm 55 yes. with no hair. I'm a bald guy in New York. Yeah. Like if I'm doing it, man, you could definitely do it. Shree, let's dive into repurposing content. So, hey, we're over the top of the hour. If you're just joining us, we're here with our dear friend, uh, Shree, Next Level Consulting. We encourage yes. you, we invite you, we implore you, connect with Shree on LinkedIn. Boy, you'll thank us later. She puts out just incredible, wonderful content. Mm -hmm. Great, beautiful post about your dad the other day. So as a father, as a girl dad, uh, that warmed my heart. And we send our love and our thoughts and prayers. Dad's going through some health issues right now. So we love that you uh, that you shared that. Um, talk about repurposing content. How, how effective is that on live stream for re repurposing content? Well, first I want to say hi to Ruben and Dan. You didn't miss anything. Um, every, the action was where you are right now. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like I'm. I'm not saying that comment. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying that if you are watching the replay, you definitely want to see Dan Bigger's comment. Yeah, about yeah, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dan, dude, like Julie's gonna. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> So when it comes to repurposing content, that's one question that I get a lot of is, I don't have time. Okay, if you don't have time, guess what? My team and I, we set it all up. We do find you a guest if you need a guest, get your notes yeah. together, take care, take care of all the work, come on. And then what you can do is just take the episode and yes, you do have to do a little bit of editing and you can make it into a podcast. And that's exactly what I did. Now, I will tell you in the beginning, it was a little bit of time. Now it takes me nothing. Like literally in 25 minutes, I have it all done. And it's because I learned a process. Same thing when it comes to creating those clips. There's so many AI tools out there. But if you don't want, you're like, you know what? I don't, I just rather pay, put this off on somebody else. You have options. You have my team. You have other teams of people. It's one of those things like, you have all this content that you can start to put out there yep. to draw people in. I actually use it in such a way that right now I'm testing a lot to see what happens. So in my email newsletter that goes out every week, the third week of the month, I actually have a spotlighted episode. And then that is generating more, more people to listen to the podcast. But guess what? Just because I highlighted one, doesn't mean that they're not going to go and check out the other episodes because there are now this week will drop the 23rd, even though I have over for a journey of an entrepreneur, there is 246, but there's other episodes I didn't count. So you could say 300 and then total live streaming over 500 episodes. Have you really so, 500? 
Over 500 total, but for this show, Journey of an Entrepreneur, you come on to the podcast, you'll be like, where are these episodes? They're coming. But if I spotlight one and you liked that one, guess what? You're going to try to check out the other ones. And I started to see that grow. So you, you have to understand people don't know you're out there unless you promote it. You can promote yep. it on TikTok. Yep. You can promote it on Instagram. You can promote it on Facebook. You can promote it on your LinkedIn to draw people to your new episode and your, you know, the last episode you had. Like whatever you can think of to get people to draw and get to know you more. So if you have a guest, it's great because then they're getting publicity. But again, yep. they're coming back to listen to you because you brought on this guest they trust you. So they trust you brought on somebody that's going to teach them something. Now, if you bring on people that are iffy, which I've had that before I had in my DMs, they were like blowing up. Why did you bring this person on? I was like, you know, we all can learn, but this is the re this is how you can tell a red flag. I would just say that People can't, <laughs> you don't think people are coming for you. They really are. They're not coming just for your guests. They're coming yeah, for you. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Tree, people say that about us all the time. So uh, yeah. all right, just kidding. Let, hey, we've got my dear buddy Alan's in the house here today. In, uh, Alan and this is a great question. This is a great question, this is a great question Alan. Touch on the types of equipment you utilize for live yep. streaming and the costs involved. Shree, Curious Minds would love to know. So I'm going to share the low budget. And I should do that post where I talk about my humble beginnings. I actually started with a cart in boxes. Yeah. That's all I had. But then we moved up and we went into that corner and then the lights came. But um, if you're thinking about you have at least a couple hundreds of dollars, you can get a blue Yeti mic, which you can't see. It's right here. There it is. You can get a Samsung mic, which is on Amazon. They're about like $70. There's also you want light. I have a, a ring light right here. But in behind me is my original ring light. After my first uh, month of going live, somebody gifted me that live, that ring light, because they were like, you need to stop using um, a globe in a, <laughs> a jewelry box. And, and a hair tie. <laughs> and a hair tie. And so I also have this light, which is called Newer, which I got on uh, Amazon. Yep. So these are just a few things that I use. I don't have a lot. I wish I had more, but you have to understand, I had that ring light for a very long time. Yep. The blue Yeti mic came because my creative director said, I will not do your banner until you buy the Yeti mic. Yep. But I had to buy the Yeti mic. Right, right. And so, here's yeah. a tip. Here's one tip. If you find a mic, uh, a, like this is Yeti, blue Yeti. What I did is I joined their mailing list. And so when they had a sale, I had the discount code plus the sale. So I got this for a really good price. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so yeah. bottom line, Tree, we're not talking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Like we're barely talking hundreds, right? And I know I'm I'm super, I don't think I'm any cheaper than me, Damon. So, you know, like I've got, you know, my, I've got oh. this little mic right here, right? Yeah. And yeah. I've got a little yeah. camera up there and, my laptop, like if you guys saw my setup, it'd be pretty, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's, so Alan, we could, you know, it, you can get in low cost, right, Damon? Yeah, it's, it's literally, I mean, my first mic, I still use it when we're, when I'm on the road, man, this thing was, was literally like 20 bucks. Yeah. It's a little USB yeah. mic yeah. And, and, yeah. and it works just works just fine. Yeah. It's not a blue Yeti mic, but it's still, it, the, yeah. you know, you can get started. And you get and you upgrade as you go. Right. Uh, like you said, there, there's there's all kinds of ring lights on Amazon. My first lights on Amazon, I think I spent thirty dollars on two. I still use them in, in the corners right. of my room. They're mounted now and stuff. But you know, there's so much uh, that you can do for very little, and that's that's part of the live streaming um, attraction. Really, is because you don't if you're in a business like Dan or 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 Alan, if you want to go out and share something, it's it's not expensive. It's, it's, it's just expensive. start. Yeah. It's not a, just to get started. So, all right, let's go here. Our dear friend, Diane says, yep. okay, so live stream edited to podcast content to newsletter. And Kurt, don't you use Otter for content for posts? Absolutely. We use Otter. Great little tool. 
And if you go to B2B tail and you look at all, we, I have hundreds of our past episodes, you'll see, and Shree's on there. Shree's been, she's a repeat offender. And so you'll see the video, you'll see the transcription. Shree, uh, you, any other, any comments that you want to add on or piggyback with what uh, Diane is, is describing there as far as using Otter? Uh, I use what's called cast magic. And so what it does is you can put, the link to, let's say if it's on YouTube or you just upload your file mm -hmm. and then it will do its magic. It actually creates titles for your podcast. It gives oh, wow. you the timestamps. It also does the YouTube piece, like writes a description that you could use. Mm -hmm. And it, it does a lot and um, it's used a lot. And you can also use it to help you write a blog. So that's what I use. I use Cast Magic. I bought a lifetime deal on AppSumo. I don't know if it's still there, but they are. They're one of the ones that are up and coming of places that you can use a really good source to get, you know, how can I use this long form content and make something yeah. from it? Um, another tool I use is Descript. I upload my live show in there and then I use something else called audacity to add music but that's just like two step if you want to keep it real simple and you're looking to uh it's cast c-a-s-t magic like the word m-a-g-i-c cast magic and i definitely would i mean i highly recommend ai is a really good tool to help you cut time but it shouldn't be what you use to write your posts or take over everything, like do the research on the guest. If you're going to bring a guest, do the research. If you're going to do a live by yourself and it's your first time, consider hiring a and outsourcing a, and get a remote producer. You've got like three options here. If you're not, if you don't want to work with one of us, we, we know people because at the end of the day, I actually remote produced a 14 hour live where the get where my client was reviewing uh linkedin profiles i know how to know i now am an expert well not i'm almost an expert but i understand what needs to go in a linkedin profile but afterwards he said oh my gosh i never realized how many moving parts it was just the little breaks even you know because linkedin only allows you to stream for four hours yeah just giving a break for like 10 minutes because i was leading it helped and so these small things do help but also be clear on what is your message that you want to deliver when you go live are you mm -hmm. going to be you know what is it you're going to share you know everybody asks what's the most optimal time i've seen that in when i do like a 30 minute live or a 20 minute live people love it but that's because i've been doing it a long time mm -hmm. for you if it's just five minutes that you can do do five minutes until you can build up. I know for YouTube, they say about 30 minutes. For TikTok, if you are approved and you have a thousand followers, 30 minutes. So just uh, just think about that and be consistent in the days. If you decide you wanna go live, if you're gonna go live once a month, twice a month, three times a month, or four times a month, be consistent on the days and times like you see here with Damon and Kurt, you know, even if you don't see, their flyer, you just know they're going to have a guest, they're going to have a show, and you're going to be there in the comments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. And Tree, I know a couple, I want to add a couple of things here. So, um, on so guys, connect with Shree on LinkedIn. When you connect with Shree on LinkedIn, Shree, I, I just want to share a couple of things that uh, people have written about you. I'm yeah. thrilled to write a captivating LinkedIn recommendation for Shree. Shree's been exceptional, an exceptional uh, asset to my professional journey. And check out these stats, Damon. Over the course of the year, my this was she was coaching on LinkedIn, right? Under Shree's guidance, my LinkedIn posts have witnessed a remarkable transformation. Over the course of a year, my impressions have skyrocketed by 1,597%, while engagement soared to an incredible 13,800%. That is absolutely Woo. insane. And there's a bunch of, uh, Julie says, I highly recommend Ju uh, Shree for her outstanding work as a video marketing uh, producer. She goes on and I wholeheartedly recommend Shree. Another person here that I wanted to comment, Shree has the unique ability to help those who are hesitant to show up on video and do so with confidence. She's helped hundreds of people go to go live. I've had the privilege and honor of working with her and people are just gushing on and on. 
Tree, what right. does it take for, you know, again, like congratulations, we commend you on doing such great work and guys connect with Shree and go down to her testimonials. And you were talking earlier about that trust, social proof. What is it about you that just really resonates with your clients? What are you doing intentionally? What, like any advice that you can share with folks in the, in the crew here? I'm just myself. So sometimes we're trying to be something we're not. I tried that before. And I just started to share that journey because it's, you know, it comes in my posts. Mm -hmm. Hey, I don't like the way I looked when actually four years ago, I was a little bit skinnier. So I see myself and I'm, I know what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Or when it comes to clients, I just, I, I know that I'm not for everybody. And I mm -hmm. ask those questions and I have no problem saying, you know what? I'm not for you, but I know somebody who is yes, yeah. giving those options because at the end of the day, you know what? I can't make myself be something I'm not. And in terms of like when you when you're listening, you know, listening to the reviews, even I sometimes question, do I even do I even make an impact? Do I even mm -hmm. do I does it really yeah. help? And when I read those reviews or even just comments that people leave in the DMs or on my posts, it shows I am making an impact. And sometimes it doesn't feel like that when you're like getting a lot of no's and no new business, yeah. but it's not about that. It's about those small wins. If you can yeah. appreciate those small wins, you will appreciate the bigger wins. Well, yeah. I love that. And I saw you, you replied to her comment. Janine says, great advice, Shri. And Damon says, or David, Dan Bigger says, hey, he's going to start going on at 132. So, hey, that would be a great segue. You know, we could, you know, yeah. just right, slide right. Shree, let's start taking it home. I know you're super busy and I don't want to keep you all day, though. I know we could ch uh, geek out all day. OK, someone just starting out out there. Any any words of advice of like, I know, you know, just get started, but whether video live stream. What advice do you have for a manufacturer or entrepreneur out there that just needs to tip their toe in the water? What would you share to just get the party started? I would say start with video and start with posting content because I know that many might say, oh, just go live. But the hardest thing is coming up with content ideas. Like, what do mm -hmm. I talk about? Mm -hmm. So first start with putting out some content, doing some videos, because as you get comfortable being in front of the camera, you'll be comfortable to be in front of the camera when you go live because let's just be real, things happen in technology land and Wi-Fi, dogs, you know, the lawnmower person, your neighbor, somebody wants to knock on the door, things happen. Yeah. And if you can learn how to, you know, just be like, this is outside of me. There's nothing I can do. The only thing I can control is myself and how I react to this. Then you will be fine. Plus, by posting content, you can see what's resonating with your community. And then that's what they're going to want you to dive deeper on. So if you mm -hmm. shared on a video, five tips to help you with manufacturing leadership, mm -hmm. you could dive deeper in each one and do a series and people will show up. And in each way, they can see how you work with people, what it's like, or if it's a product the from Maybe you're, you have something in mind and you're trying to say, hey, we're coming out with this new product, but we, we want to hear from you. And for the next few series, we're going to be going through the process. There's just so many things like I know there's some parts that you're like, well, we can't share, but there are parts of it. Think of a course. I'm going to put it back to an entrepreneur who's thinking about putting out a course. When you come up with the course, you're like, yo, I want to do this course on you know, how to apply for a job and I'm going to do A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. And then you put it out, but then nobody wants it because yeah. things have changed. So when by going live, by putting out con first, by putting out content and then going live, you get in the comments what people are looking for, because as you start talking about those topics that would be in your course, then you start to realize this is not what it is. I'm starting to see a trend. More and more people are having to learn how to get on camera because they have to do video. Uh, they have to send in a video for their interview. Like the first interview is a video. You're not talking to somebody. They're just asking questions. You have so much time in between. You have so much time to submit it. 
And so maybe your course needs to change a little bit and then you do that. So once it goes to market, then you have something that people want to buy. Absolutely love it, man. Bam. Right. Yeah. Yeah, drop the mic. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a it's a great way just to get yourself out there. Uh, Dan says, "Hey, everything is better when it is bigger." Diane says, "Great advice. I couldn't agree more." So, Shri, let's start. Let's let's wind down. So, when folks that are just totally captivated with you, your expertise, they can find you obviously here on LinkedIn. Where can where can folks? Where else can they find you? They can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, even on X. I'm no. also on YouTube, but I make it easy. Find me here. Reach out to me. If you're on Facebook, reach out to me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But if you want to check me out, you want to see what I'm like, just come to the live shows, come to the post. Um, talk to my friends if you want to. Yep. You have to right here. Absolutely. And so and next level consulting is her business. It's NL. I think it's nlconsulting.net. Do I have that correctly? Is that your website? NL. Yes. NLconsulting.net. But I don't send people there because I'm one of those people who built a website at a time, not realizing it wasn't the right time to build that website. Got it. Okay. So, hey, check her out on social. So, Shri, last time you were on the show, I asked you, uh, so we talked about your hero. We hit that earlier, right? And last time I asked you, who was your inspiration? Do you remember that by any chance? Do you remember what your answer was for that one? I don't remember what my answer was for that. I think, I think you said faith. I think you were like, I think God, you're, you're like, God's my inspiration. Does that, does that ring a bell? I, I, I didn't go back and look, but that was my recollection was, I think I was like, I was really touched that you're like, so here, I have a different question for you this time. Are you ready? Okay. Are you sitting down? Are you okay? I'm ready. Okay. okay. So, all right. So giving shout out to mom and dad. As a matter of fact, I think last time we were on the show, we were talking about how your mom had just crashed one of your live shows uh, like the week before. Yes, you know, like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, like you said, like any, like my dog is over here, like snoring and rolling. Yeah. Like, he's totally like being disruptive right now. So like, you know, you never know what's going to go on in a live show. Right, Damon? So I, as we wind down, Shri, I have one last question for you today. Again, guys, connect with Shri on LinkedIn, Instagram, X, Facebook, wherever. She would be honored and just it'd be a privilege for her to help you on your video journey, whatever it is, however you want to stop being the best kept secret. Shri, are you are you a baseball fan by any chance? I am. I do know a few teams like the Astros, the Mets, the Sox. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, it is it is preseason, so spring training is in full bloom right now. Baseball is going to be starting here pretty soon. So, though it's not baseball season quite yet, it's right around the corner. Sure, I have a question for you. So, if you were, let's say, the Astros were playing a game, just just pure hypothetical. Okay, and I'm asking for a friend, and let's say that there's somebody on second base. There's two outs. Somebody on second base, tie score, and and they need a they need the winning run like now. Okay. And so the manager looks down the bench and says, hey, Shri, grab your helmet, grab your bat, and get up to the plate. We need a we need we need the winning run. Okay. We need someone to get a base hit, hit the winning run. As you grab your helmet, grab your bat, you're walking up to the plate. What is your walk-up song? My walk-up song, actually, it's really the the song is I don't even have a song. I don't even know, but I would be like, okay, come on, God, we got this. We've been practicing for this moment all year, all the time. We got this. Let's go. You and I together. Oh, so you'd be, you'd be make, you know what? You'd be making up a song on the way to the plate yep. on your own, right? How's that, Shri? So she'd be making yeah, up a song. So it's not even like any song. It would just be a whole conversation with God. And like, we have been preparing for this moment since day one. Like this is, oh, this I love is it. not, this is not happening today. My day one was my, was the the time that I was taught. Right. Right. If that's, that's the moment. And that's how I feel about live streaming. The moment I went live, it was like, I brought my public speaking and then my, right whole persona of who yeah. I am, how I am came. And so every time, whether I am in person coaching a client or going live, I just bring the same person because sometimes even when I do public speaking, I get nervous. And then I remember, Hey, you know, we got, we have gone live with 250 people on the live yeah. show. We got this. This is only 10 people. We got this. Yeah. Well, I absolutely. That's great awesome. answer. Tree. Great answer. 
Damon, you know, I was on a podcast recently and I actually, they, it was a guest of ours and they asked me the question and you know what my song was? Does it, if I ever told you what my, my walk-up song is, if I told you guys? What is your walk -up? Let's hear it. Rocky? Yeah. Let's go. Baby Shark. Yep. Baby Shark. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Baby Shark. Yeah, Baby Shark. So we might, have to close, we might have to close out with that. So anyway, Shree, let's go here. We want to thank you. We appreciate you. And guys, you've been hanging out with us for however long it's been. Let's give a big... Thanks, you know, mine would be like, okay, um, because there's several songs. I, the one that comes up, it's it's a gospel song, and it's it says, You've already got, you know, I already have it by Dion Kipling. It starts off, you say, I oh, already yeah. have it. Right. And then you say, yeah. and then he says, Say it again, I already have it. All right, we got to check that one out. So, all right, oh. treat. So, uh, let's go here, Thank guys. You. So, hey, you've been hanging out with us for past fifty some minutes. We invite you, encourage you. Let's give a big round of applause for Shri, the video marketing expert here in the house. Shri, we thank you. We appreciate you. We applaud you. We send our thoughts to you and Dad and uh, your daughter in college, and we just we we just wish you a wonderful, incredible twenty twenty four massive success yeah. we just love having you you're a dear friend we love having you on the show and damon thoughts takeaways what, what do you got for today well i just think people need to rewind and listen to shri on this because there's some real real gold nuggets in here about going live the normal apprehension to go on live some of the things you want to do maybe if you want to reach out and and also i just Thank everyone in the comments today. Love, love, love the questions, love the interaction. Just keep it coming. And those of you that didn't make a comment today, you know, maybe next time's your time because we're going to be back again on Friday. That's right. We're, man, we got a really good guest on Friday. So, all right, guys, have an awesome week. Shree, hang out with us for one second. God bless everybody. We appreciate you. And hey, just like we always like to say, Go out and be someone's inspiration, just like this lovely lady here was for all of us today. Okay. And hey, we've got this right here. Great session. Janine, thank you for joining us. We appreciate Thanks, it. Janine. We need to connect with Janine. And so guys, yeah. have a great Monday. We'll see you soon.